Hello there. They call me Mr. E. Now, the rise of the new right wing in the 21st century serves an extremely important purpose in global politics today. Think of your nationalist parties, the alt-right, patriot groups, etc. Their existence helps to neutralize any real opposition to the status quo, i.e. the political establishment. The ever-present threat of a right-wing popular movement that may result in the next Adolf Hitler or an evil right-wing extremist cell simply serves politically to push voters and public opinion in democratic countries to the center. As an important consequence, this pushes people away from leftist agendas or any truly radical or revolutionary ideas. My name is Mystery, and this is my story. The left is too disorganized today to be of any real threat to current right-wing populist movements, and so in order to effectively resist this popularism, a majority of people, encouraged by the media of course, will turn to establishment parties and politicians, think Biden, Macron or Trudeau, to stop the dramatized rise of fascism taking place in their once pristine and safe nations. The F word, fascism, is toyed with by the media, politicians and academics to beat people into political submission. Better vote safe or else you'll help unleash the next evil dictator who destroys our democracy. Most right-wing leaning people don't want to openly associate with hard right movements, though their objectives are appealing, because their means are just too risque. A majority of people, whatever their political orientation, do care about the issues on the agenda of right-wing groups, like loss of secure work, resources being offshored, opportunities outsourced, the impacts of globalization and privatization on community and national identity, the threat of foreign influence, but won't agree with the openly racist, sexist, and generally bigoted ideology and the tactics that come with that territory. And so, people will gravitate back to a safe establishment centrist puppet as an alternative to right-wing popularism, comforted by the thought that maybe this time the corporate stooge with their clean and glossy appearance will do right by me and make me feel secure again without the overt hatred and prejudice of a hard right leader. Now, we don't want to look silly in front of the other nations like when the US voted in that reality TV moron. So let's stay with the option that screws us slowly and in the shadows. Now, the new right-wing threat pushes moderately right-wing people with enough decency to the centre because they're never going to vote left or progressively. And it pushes moderate left-wing people to the centre who just have too much of a conscience to vote for some radical option because they want their vote to count. Always choosing the sensible path, the one that changes nothing. The scare of the rise of the new right really is an amazing tool. Something that is purposely played up in the media to arouse fear and suspicion in the masses, whipping people into a fearful frenzy, ensuring their votes go to the safe, middle of the road, status quo candidates. Pre-1990s, it used to be the evil threat of communism that played the role of this dangerous other. The irony of this evil other today is clear though. It is the status quo that has caused the new right-wing popularism and the rise of neo-fascist rage. Moderate politicians and parties are the representatives of the establishment who perpetuate everything plaguing the world today. Insatiable corporate greed and the negative impacts of globalization. Let's be honest here. Right-wing or left-wing, it doesn't matter. All working people, the overwhelming majority of us, have the same grievances, in essence. We are all sick of the world created by corporate overlords and capitalistic globalization which serves only economic interests. Neoliberalism 
has systematically destroyed national sovereignty, cultural identity, the welfare state, public assets, robbed resources, all while laying waste to any notion of security, be it secure work or social security, to security from violent terror or war. This erodes public confidence in democratic institutions and provides the breeding grounds for more extreme views and solutions. But this is the paradox of 21st century politics. We all know there is a serious problem out there that the human race has to face, but we keep on voting in the same establishment ordained sociopaths that have got us here in the first place, because why not? It feels safer. The voting safely might appear to save us all from the next fascist dictatorship, but what's the alternative? The dictatorship of corporatocracy. It's much less confronting and it's what we're all used to, isn't it? We should recognise that the political establishment in the 21st century thrives off a healthy and extreme right-wing presence and combat the associated propaganda model with an honest view of the most eminent threat to humanity, maintaining the status quo. It's time for change. Now, if you thought that was interesting, give it a like, leave a comment and share with someone who should hear this and subscribe for more. There is much to learn before we can unlock the revolution. Remember, I am, you are, we are, mystery.